Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I am James, also known as Spinexo, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 recommendations on what games you should actually buy for the Steam Summer Sale. In this video, I'm going to show you a nice little addition. Before we get into the video, I'm going to show you guys the Steam Deck. Currently, right now, the Steam Deck actually has a 10% discount, 15% and a 20% discount. And you're actually looking for a Steam Deck, I would recommend buying the 64GB, which I do currently have. I originally did pay £350, but what I would say, if you are looking for one, I would definitely buy it at this price because a nice little 10% discount, there's not much more to ask for. £314, that's great value. So now with our first game, this is one of my favourite games I've ever played. Days Gone, there's not much more to say about this game apart from it is a masterpiece. This game is fantastic, I'm not even going to lie about it. I played it on PS4 and then I thought it was okay with the frame, it was, uh, it was a little bit iffy. As soon as I got it on PC, it changed my whole perspective of this game. It was great, the zombies are just ruthless, the storyline, the characters, everything about this game it is an absolute steal for the price of £13. 67% off, that is an absolute steal right there. So if you guys are interested in this, you like horror games, I would recommend Days Gone. So my second game is a, a nice little racing game which has recently been released, Need for Speed Unbound. Everybody had a bit of a doubt about this game because of the whole anime and cartoon side of it, but honestly, it's really not that bad. Once you actually get into the game, you don't really feel like you're playing like an anime game or anything like that. You generally feel like you're playing a Need for Speed game and it's a nice little addition to the Need for Speed franchise. It's a little bit different, but the cars, the drifting, the racing, everything about this game is great. I've, I've finished this game within three days. Um, I went onto the multiplayer. I got every single most expensive car in the game. So I proper grinded this game, got max level. I think it was level 99 or 100. You know, I spent a lot of time in this game. I think you can actually pay for the EA Pass, which is like £3.99 a month. Or you can go ahead and buy it outright for £17.99, which is the lowest price I've ever seen at. I bought this brand new for £60, but luckily I got it for my birthday, so I didn't actually pay for it. But a minus 70% off, that is a great value right there. If you guys are interested in some recent games, that's definitely one to pick up. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2. This game is... I, I, honestly, this game is fantastic. Literally from start to finish. It's a little bit slow at the start. But once you really do get into that story, you are hooked. I finished this game around 70 hours from start to finish with different collectibles and little side missions and stuff. So you could probably finish the game a little bit faster than me. For a value of £19 plus you get the online, so you don't actually have to pay for that separately. This game is, I don't know what it is, it's, it's so good. Like the main character and like, I'm not going to spoil it, but like betrayal. That's all I'm saying is, oh my god, this game is so good. And if you do get a chance, please play it for a steal of 19 quid, 67% off. If you got the money, definitely get this one. Probably one of the best games, Rockstar games I've ever made. For a next one, this one's kind of controversial because a lot of people would say like this one isn't great. But honestly, like if you did give it, honestly, if you do give it a chance, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is probably, I wouldn't say it's one of the best Assassin's Creed games. But for me, I, I really like this one, so it's going to be in my recommendations. So if you do get a chance to play it, I mean, minus, what, 75% off for £12. And if we scroll down ever so slightly, you can get the Deluxe Edition or the Ragnarok Edition. £16, £25, or you can just get the Complete Edition for £35. Completely up to you. Um, but, you know, if you do get a chance to play this game, just like the story of the Vikings and stuff, like how they invaded and, like, taking over settlements and stuff and how they expanded so oh, it, it's actually such a good game and like the combat like the stealth or oh, quality if you do get a chance pick this one up now god of war this has to be one of my all-time favorite games honestly this game is i don't actually know how to explain it apart from that it is a complete masterpiece this first game was fantastic like the combat like the gore the story everything about this game it probably takes around 50 hours to complete and what the studio did towards this game was oh my god for 23 quid minus 40 percent off you know if if you actually haven't played this game i i, I actually have to say it, you have to play this game I'm not even going to joke around with it you actually have to play this game 
if you play this game come back to this video and tell me what you think of it because i will say that you will actually enjoy this game without a doubt in my mind that's it for today's video if you did enjoy this video and you do like my recommendations please tell me in the comments but without further ado guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one whenever i upload i'm murdering bees like i'm possessed by an evil spirit i'm herding these sheep like a shepherd when i'm spitting my lyrics getting bored of all these fake ones everyone becoming gimmicks i'll raise you up by your feet and defy every single physic i'm evil inside i got demons to cry so when i'm alone with myself i just want to take my own